State Tech presents Tips for Taking the Acuplacer. As soon as you sign up to take the Acuplacer, you should start studying for it. According to Dr. Ashley Robinson, students should begin studying at least four to six weeks before taking the test. Now, this is an ideal situation. However, if you only have a week or two, then you should use that time to study. It is a good idea to study no more than 30 minutes a day on one particular subject. The reason to use this study habit is to help your long-term memory to store the information. This is what cognitive psychologists call chunking. This process helps the mind to divide large pieces of information into smaller units, thus remembering them better for longer. If you plan to study more, take at least a 15 to 20 minute break in between your sessions to relax and get away from your study session. Remember, we all need breaks. Scientists have found that the brain needs time away from studies in order to grasp the idea that you covered and to store it. If you study nonstop for hours, you may retain some information in your short-term memory, but it will not last. Non-stop studying also increases the likelihood that you have bouts of test anxiety as your brain cannot handle excessive amounts of information without a break. Study in a distraction-free environment. Put away all electronics and use a relatively quiet place. You can use your electronics as a reward during your study break. Use free test prep questions to prepare. Those are available online through your student portal at accuplacer.org through the student portal. Sometimes local and or school libraries do have test prep books with more sample questions you can use. Consider memorizing some common algebraic formulas used on these practice exams. Union Test Prep recommends knowing the following formulas. Point slope form, the quadratic formula, the square or difference of a sum, the difference of squares, the difference of sums of cubes, several geometric formulas, the Pythagorean identity, and those are just to name a few. When studying, don't panic. Panicked studying is called cramming. It also leads to forgotten information and test anxiety. The Accuplacer test is untimed, multiple choice, and computer-based. If you need, you can always ask about accommodations. If you have a documented disability, contact the college's testing center to find out what testing accommodations are available to you. You can always contact the testing center at testingcenter at statetechmo.edu or call 573-897-5101. You should also know basic computer skills, things like how to use a keyboard and a mouse. The night before the test, make sure you get about 7 to 10 hours of sleep and dress in comfy clothing. Always avoid anything that could be hot, itchy, or clingy. Eat a light breakfast and avoid large amounts of caffeine. Too much caffeine can cause jitters, an upset stomach, and crash, which could also lead to brain fog. Arrive at the testing center at least 15 minutes to a half an hour early. Make sure to bring your state-issued ID or your school ID. Be prepared to surrender electronic devices at the door for the test, things like cell phones, smartwatches, and any sort of calculator. There's no need to bring any supplies because all materials are provided. Before testing, grab a drink of water and use the bathroom. Even if you don't feel like you have to, it's better to go. Because remember, no breaks are allowed. You can always quietly chew a piece of sugar-free gum. Why sugar-free? Well, at least two studies by the University of Sydney and Cardiff University have found that gum chewing increases alertness, improves intellectual task performance, and increases memory, especially when the same flavor of gum was chewed during study time as it was during the test. Take a seat, relax, and breathe slowly. Do your best not to think about the test. The staff will proceed with a check-in procedure shortly. Ideally, when you are testing, you want to recreate the study environment as much as possible. So wear similar clothes, chew the same gum, or maybe the same piece of candy. Once the test begins, read all directions that are given. Look for keywords as you read the questions. For example, if the question asks, what does the passage emphasize? The key word is emphasize, a word that signals you to identify the main idea of the passage. Beware of negative words in the questions, like except, not, but, least. These words signal that you are actually looking for the only answer among the choices that is not acceptable. Read all of the answer choices, use the process of elimination, choose an answer, and then move on. 
Learn to spot incorrect answers. Wrong answers tend to be either too broad, because the answer may be true but covers too much or isn't specific enough, too narrow, because the answer may be true but isn't complete because there are better choices, irrelevant, the answer may be true but it's not directly related to the question, or incorrect, the answer contradicts facts, or it could be illogical, the answer is not supported by any facts. Next, we will go over the sections of the test, some areas to study, and tools and tips to consider. This is an example question from the AccuPlacers website. Notice in the cutout, the calculator and the highlighter functions are available. The AccuPlacer math test uses 20 multiple choice questions to access the test taker's skills and knowledge in a variety of arithmetic areas. Questions will cover the following areas. Fractions, ratios, exponents, order of operations, linear expressions, probability, statistics, geometry, reading and understanding charts. The calculator tool will be provided with certain questions. Scratch paper and pencils are provided, so consider working problems by hand. Make sure to check your answers units. AccuPlacer's reading tests assess the ability to read and understand text and passages of various lengths. The passages cover topics from literature, careers, history, social studies, humanities, and sciences. Questions will cover the following reading skills, information and knowledge, logical arguments, vocabulary, breaking complex ideas down in your own words. There are 20 questions on the reading portion of the AccuPlacer exam, and they are all multiple choice. For this part of the test, a test taker's best practice is to first read each question and all of the answer options, then read the passage or part of the passage indicated by the question. You can use the highlighter tool to highlight keywords and concepts. You may want to reread some areas just to check for details. The AccuPlacer writing test evaluates students on their ability to effectively express ideas through writing by editing a prompt. The test evaluates students' ability to revise and edit a range of texts. Questions and prompts will cover the following areas. Grammar, proper word choice, proper sentence and paragraph structure and organization, punctuation, the use of transition words, knowledge of thesis statements and topic sentences, as well as critical thinking. And here are some tips. Use the highlighter function to search for particular words or phrases in a passage. Read each question and answer thoroughly as some appear similar. Don't panic. From time to time, even the best student and test takers hit a moment of panic or anxiety. So dealing with test anxiety, if your mind goes blank, take a few minutes to sit back, close your eyes, breathe, and let your thoughts come back to you. And of course, always think positively. Don't say that you're going to do badly. When you say this, you most likely will. This is called a self-fulfilling prophecy. Don't look around at other students. This causes panic to worsen and makes it harder to think clearly. Reread each question and possible answers carefully. Some more tips and tools. Use process of elimination to determine your answer. Use the highlighter function to highlight keywords. Use the built-in calculator function on designated math questions. All references made during or in this presentation are available throughout these college sources or the college's professional staff. Thank you.